Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana. What's going on, you guys? You want to do a reading? Huh? You want to throw some cards for Taurus? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to this table right here. If you're coming back to the channel, as always, it's for you and about you and only because of you. Okay? Y'all, there is a super thanks button that you can smash anytime that you want to. If you want to buy my pony a new pair of shoes, smash that super thanks button right on. So, Let's do this, all right? Let's do this. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify it. I'm going to sew together a story. Yes, we are doing something different today with the camera things here. Um, don't panic. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm just trying, okay? <laughs> all right, you guys, let's do it. I am a Taurus. I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising and Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun, all right? So let's do this, you guys. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit, and they want to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus, and what do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, What's coming towards this Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that they need to know? Wisdom, guidance, and understanding right there. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, they're so big. Um, the sacral chakra on the bottom of the deck. We will talk about that later, okay? Real bottom of the deck is the hermit, the three of pentacles, the nine of wands, the devil, and justice. Ooh, look at that. We're going to take that moon. Look at all these major arcana. I cannot kid you. We're going to take the moon. We're going to take the hangman. We're going to take the universe. And then we're going to talk about the heart chakra. Look at that, you guys. We could read this whole thing backwards. That's going to make hella sense to you in a minute. Makes hella sense to me right now. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, we first card out the box is a victory and success. That is the six of wands, victory and success. And then we have mental conflict with the two of swords, material and spiritual prosperity with the six of pentacles, emotional loss with the five of cups, power with the strength card, rest and rejuvenate with the four of swords, Memories of love with the Six of Cups. Rejoice in celebration with the Three of Cups. Deception and envy with the Seven of Swords. Spiritual union with the Two of Cups. Suffering in silence with the Nine of Swords. And then prosperity begins with the Eight Ace of Pentacles. The Lovers with Harmony and accelerated motion with the Eight of Wands. Look at that, the Nine of Cups, fulfillment of wishes, and then the High Priestess and firm foundation. That's where we will stop. Look, we got to take the Ace of Cups, right? We can't go on without that. The Ace of Cups, let's see. Partnerships and alliances, I cannot make this stuff up. All right, we're going to stop with that. So as you can tell, all these cards in this particular deck are supposed to, and don't ask me what it is, I can't even remember, I have no idea. Um, they all need to be right in the upright, and then the clarifying cards will be like always, and that's going to be these new guys right here, okay? I do know what these are. This is the Good Tarot by Colleen, whomever, I don't know. <laughs> The good tarot is what they're called, okay? And I've never used them before, and we're going to do it right now, okay? They're a little bit different, but I like it. I like it. 
Let's try. So the first card out is the Six of Wands. Victory and success. Fabulous. What exactly is this victory and success? Remember, the only way to know your true story is to have your own cards read. Well, all right, Taurus. I'll be doggone. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Buckle up. This is crazy. Crazy talk. Crazy. Check this out. Check this out. So the first card out is victory and success with the nine of wands right here, right? Victory and success. You don't reach victory and success until you overcome some kind of a battle, right? I asked, what was the battle that this Taurus overcame to get to the position of victory and success in their lives? And I got the ace of water. The ace of water, water being the emotions, right? Ace of water, this is emotional growth, okay? Some kind of emotional growth. Um, the judgment card, which is called call, apparently, in this deck. It's trump 20, so it's judgment, okay? Um, this is making some kind of very serious decision that you are ready, willing, able, and want to engage in new love okay and then the nine of air that reiterates to me that's the nine of swords right air is your mind that reiterates to me that what this taurus had to get over or what this taurus had to go through to get here is to be in a place where they are resolved that yes they are open to new love. They have emotionally grown from whatever in the past, and they are in a position now where they are inside of themselves, resolved that they are at this point ready, willing, and able to participate in and accept some kind of love in their life, okay? Now, mental conflict with the two of swords. So what's going to happen here? So let's go back to victory and success. What is the victory and success? It is the ace of water. It is love, new love, new love relationship. And the call with judgment is um, a conscious cognitive decision, nine of swords, to come to terms within yourself about being lovable or allowing yourself to be loved again, okay? Then we have mental conflict with the two of swords. What's all this about? Well, the mental conflict is the three of water in reverse. Like I said in the very beginning of this, okay? Three of water is, is the three of water in the upright is about um, teamwork and collaboration on an emotional level of some sort. In the reverse, the three of water is about unable to collaborate emotionally because there is too much, too, 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 too many three cups in reverse, right? Too much, too many cooks in the kitchen, too many things stirring at the same time, okay? Mental conflict to the six of earth about your home life, your home life, okay? And then the eight of air in reverse is a new perspective and the page of air is an offer. So this Taurus is going to get an offer of some sort and it has to do with love, in some way. Could be romantic love, could be the love of a person, place, or thing, okay? Animal, anything. But this Taurus is going to get an offer, and this offer requires this Taurus to reconsider where they are living because Either this Taurus gets into this situation and now they have to leave where they live or this Taurus gets into this situation and there's no room for this situation where they live or, or this Taurus gets into a relationship and the relationship for some reason is taking Taurus away from home. Six Pentacles. Okay, all right. 
Six of Earth, Six of Pentacles, right there, right? Where you find your, your giving and receiving and sharing of prosperity in life. Somehow this relationship takes you away, has to take you away from that. Okay, Eight of Air in Reverse is getting in some kind of new perspective. The Page of Air about this offer, about this communication. So milling it around in your head, right? Trying to wrap your mind around this, this success, this victory, this thing that just happened in your life. Material and spiritual prosperity with the Six of Pentacles again. And then the Six of Trump comes on top of it. Two sixes in a row, not to mention that six up there. Okay? Two sixes in a row with that six up there talks about communication, problem solving, um, harmony, and peace. Okay? So the sixes in this reading are representing the movement that's going to be happening in your life when this occurs. And the movement that's happening has to do with your ability to peel away from something else in your life. Okay? All right. Okay. The lover's card, right? This is love. It's love. It's love of some sort. It's some kind of frequency union. It is love of some sort. And then we have the five of cups. Five of cups is loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Emotional loss is the card, right? Why? It's right beneath the mental conflict. Remember, Taurus has to look, Hierophant in reverse, peel away from something. You have to cut some kind of ties, commitments, or obligations that are pre-existing in order to follow this path in your life. And Taurus is tore up about it. Tore up about it. And then strength comes on top and talks about being strong, having the strength to follow the path of your life, having the strength to rearrange or change the things in your life that are standing in the way, some sort, of you engaging in this opportunity. Mm -hmm. To power. Again, this is strength. Eight and an eight. Eights are about movement, action, and change. Taurus, your whole life is about to change, and you might be completely uprooted. You might be trucking around right now just thinking everything's fine, everything's good, got this locked down, got that locked down, going about business as per usual, and then kapow! This whole thing is going to happen, and it's going to be a huge, gigantic, huge, gigantic turning point in your life. And you're going to find yourself torn between this new opportunity and home. You're going to find yourself torn between this new opportunity and home. Interesting. Strength again. Power. Overcome. Courage. The courage to go forward. The courage to do what feels right inside of your soul, even though you have some kind of tie to the magician. Have the strength to manifest your future. Have the strength to step into what it is that has actually happened here. Because remember up here, getting it straight in your mind, getting everything straight, coming through that battle, stepping into this reading, you have manifested this somehow, some way. You have manifested this. And when it happens, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. Rest and rejuvenate the Four of Swords. Pull it together, okay? Pull it together right now. Look, you got a four on a four. You got sixes on sixes. You got eights on eights. You got a four on a four. Interesting. This is stability, safety, security, and stability in your life. Four of Swords is about bringing some peace to your mindset, hanging up the grief and the sorrow and the pain that you're going through right here because this is so overwhelming. 
right? Come into terms with it, bringing stability to your mindset, bringing stability to your sense of well-being, king of earth. And stepping into a place of immense success, an immense amount of success, huge amounts of success, possibly with a king of earth, possibly you are the king of earth, but this is a place of extreme stability and security. Look, another six. I kid you not. The six of cups. The six of cups is soulmate energy. It's not someone from the past or the six of cups would be in reverse, okay? It's, it's soulmate energy. This whole thing is who you, what you, you created all of this deep inside of your subconscious mind and you cleared the way for it to happen and by golly, it's freaking happening right now, Taurus. To the six of fire, double sixes, sixes all over. You have three sixes in this reading and I might even be missing something here. Am I missing something? Four five, five sixes in this reading. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sixes are in this reading. That is amazing. I'm going to read to y'all straight from my numerology cheat sheet right here, all right? Six, tarot, tarot numerology. Six is communication, problem solving, cooperation, balance, and harmony. And you've got them all over this reading. Double eights, movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, success, attainment. Eights all over this reading. Something huge is happening, Taurus. Something huge is happening here. Huge. No wonder I felt compelled to do this. Huge. Okay. To the three of water. <laughs> right? Teamwork, collaboration. Now you have double threes. Let me read to you what threes are. Threes are initial achievement, growth, creativity, expression, communication, and friendship. Fabulous. To the queen of earth. This is the queen of pentacles to that king of pentacles. The queen of earth to the king of earth. This is some kind of very successful partnership of some sort. The eight of fire. Another eight, movement, action, change, things changing and churning. The eight of fire, movement to the ten of water. Emotional fulfillment. I mean, that's literally the definition of this card in this deck. Water is your emotions. Ten is absolute fulfillment. Fulfillment of your emotional needs. Eight of fire, change inside of you, change in your life. The queen of earth goes to the king of earth. And the three of cups is rejoice and celebration. You're meeting someone. You're meeting someone. And you are about to step into an absolutely fabulous situation in your life, Taurus. Deception and envy, the seven of swords. Well, what's all that about? All of this is beautiful. And now we got deception and envy. What's this about? To the queen of wands in reverse. The queen of wands in reverse. To the ace of earth in reverse. So the ace of pentacles in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse. So what is going to be the killer here is Taurus self-sabotaging this whole situation because of nine of swords up there. Remember, you had to get yourself to this place. You got yourself to this place. You manifested this in your life. But now that it's actually happening, you are reverting back to who you were before you did all of this internal work. And that's natural. It's the natural course of things because that's all you know. This is a Taurus that's getting ready to test their sea legs in a new understanding, a new way of healing, manifestation, this whole spiritual thing. This is a Taurus that's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to step one foot forward. I'm going to see what happens. And you do it. 
And before you even realize it, you've manifested this. I'm telling you, that's how manifestation works. You get your mind, that nine of swords, and the ace of water, and judgment, and you get it all in line, and you focus on, all right, I will accept universal order. If it is in my destiny for me to be with someone, then the door is open, and I am going to not do what the wounded child in me did back then. I'm smarter, I'm stronger now. Eight's all over your reading, strength twice, right? I'm stronger now, I know the difference between stuff, at least I think I do, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this different this time. And you get in this whole situation and you're so overwhelmed with how freaking crazy and fast this is all happening that you revert right back to what you used to know. And that's the queen of water in reverse, emotional guardedness, and the ace of earth in reverse, and inability to manifest. You start sowing your seeds or throwing your seeds on the old you, the way that you're panicking in this whole situation a little bit, and you start to go right back to the way that you used to be about things, okay? Okay, that's your warning there. That That's just, that's it. They just want you to know that you will have a propensity to self-sabotage this whole situation, okay? You're, you're, you're kind of treading on um, thin ice, so to speak. So walk carefully so you can make it all the way across and don't fall back into um, step, in, step in the way that you used to step, okay? Two of Cups, because this is a spiritual union. This is, this, is, this is part of your path. It's part of your purpose. It's part of your destiny, Taurus. Suffering in silence, that same old nine of swords right there, right? Anxiety, despair in your mind to the eight of earth. This is the eight of pentacles. This is working on yourself. This is reiteration of what I said in the first place. You have been working on yourself. The king of swords, you know your truth now. You know your truth. And you own your truth. And that's the important part is owning your truth. I played a part in my failures in the past. I didn't know then what I know now. Now that I know now, I can move into my future with a completely different understanding of how to navigate life. That's spiritual growth. Because of this, prosperity begins. The Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunity to build prosperity of some sort in your life in an extremely significant relationship. The Lovers is here twice. Hold on, my dogs are barking, they're barking. The Lovers, it's here twice. Six yet again, Taurus, a six again. This is some kind of gigantic love relationship for you. The Ace of Fire, it's a brand new spark for your whole life. It's a brand new spark of everything. And look, the Fool, it's a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a new path, a new way. And you're not going to understand it. You're going to be very conflicted about it when it first happens. Yar, you're going to be conflicted about it because it's going to happen so fast. It's a brand new beginning. It's a brand new journey. It is the path of your purpose to an eight again. Accelerated motion, movement, action, change. Eight, 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 everywhere. Change, sudden change, fast change. The nine of cups, the fulfillment of your wishes. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. And then the High Priestess with intuition. I wanted to ask about this. Let me ask about intuition. I wanted to ask. Let's see. Tell me about intuition, please. Tell me about the High Priestess. Tell me about intuition, please. Tell me about the High Priestess. Intuition. Okay, look. Look, the hangman, 
to the Five of Cups, right? Loss, regret, despair, disappointment. The hangman is a new perspective. So as you are processing this, as you are possibly trying to slip back into self, some kind of self-sabotage, right? It's very important for you to tap in to that ancient higher self that lives right here in your chest, okay? Tap into your intuition and really feel your way through this emotional loss because you are having to leave something behind. Maybe you have to leave behind a job to get married. Maybe you have to leave behind family to get married. Perhaps you have to leave behind um, a lifestyle of some sort to join forces with some other lifestyle. But come to terms with that the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups because this is the beginning of the whole rest of everything. It's the beginning of the whole rest of everything. Patience, right? Patience, patience. This is temperance. Temper yourself. Take a deep breath. It's, it's all going to be okay. If it feels right in your chest, it's right. Okay? If it feels right in your chest, it's right. To Trump 17, this is the star. Hope, faith, purpose, the renewal of your life, your path, your purpose, the way that you are supposed to go in this leg of your human experience. To partnerships and alliances with the Three of Cups. Yet again, another three, right? Partnerships, alliances. It's all coming together for you, Taurus. You actually manifested this. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Is the world. This cycle is over. The old you is over. The new you, the, the, the eight of pentacles you, the one who has worked so hard to be this Taurus is about to get everything that you have asked for. Yes. The sacrifice. And this also goes back to moving a little bit too, right? Perhaps moving, having to move somewhere. Sacrifice with the hangman, just like that hangman back there, right? Pause, process, cut yourself loose from the tree, the attachment with a new perspective. And the moon. Because... What you know to be true, back to that high priestess, right? What you know to be true inside of you doesn't always look like what you think your life should look like. Perhaps you thought that you were going to fall in love and join families together and everything was going to be hunky-dory. And in fact, um, that's not the way that it's going to be. So come to terms with what it is that you don't quite want to wrap your mind around justice. This is in your best interest. It's good. It's right. It's proper. It's in your best interest to the devil. The devil doesn't want you to enter to entertain this though. The devil wants you to stay stuck right back on whatever it is that you're stuck on. That's what the other side of all of this spirituality wants. They want you to stay plugged in so you keep repeating some kind of cycle in your life so you don't grow, so you don't ascend, so when you die you come right back again and they begin the consumption again. Okay? Don't be tempted to self-sabotage and go back to the way that you used to do things. Continue with your spirituality. Continue checking in with that intuition. Spiritual strength. Right? The nine of wands. Spiritual strength. Be strong. Fight the good fight. Keep fighting. Keep going. Keep pushing forward. And don't not believe that this is happening. Because this is happening for someone. Recognition and reward, a three again. Recognition and reward, the three of pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration. You are being recognized and rewarded by universe, by universal order. With universal order, through universal order. To the hermit. Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. 
talk about this, talk this through, make sure you got all your loose ends tied up with this whole emotional uh, coming to terms with things, right? The emotional growth of the Ace of Water, right? The, the Nine of Air, the Nine of Swords, all the anxiety, the despair about a new relationship. It's happening so quickly. It can't possibly be true. It can't possibly be actually happening to me, but it is happening to you. And it's going to take you away from something that is comfortable to you right now. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.